ሙሊሽ ሙከም ከሮቲ ባቻለም ፈንጉም ለንጋይ ትግሪም የትክባተም ሐም ወንዴ ሽይ ጉሩም ዲነ ታሪነም ፐርማነንት ማቶም ሽይ ቸይተኒ ኢሽወራ ሶሪ ክርሽና ዳንበት ፕራና ሶ ኦል ዶስ ሁ ስቴ ኦል ዘ ዴይስ ቱ ሊዝን ኢን እንግሊሽ አይ ሪሊ አፕሪሼት ዩር ፔሸንስ and uh, i really appreciate your interest to listen this subject and explore krishna consciousness through this talks so today we will talk about uh, shri shikshashtakam the third uh, line that is shreha kairava chandrika vitrana so as we have begun shri shikshashtakam seminar series few days back we have understood the overview then we have seen the cheto darpanam arjanam then we have seen the bhava maha davagni nirvapanam and today we will talk about shreya kairava chandrika vitaran so for the purpose of uh, beginning this and to invoke shri chaitanya mahaprabhu at least we will sing the first uh, text of shri shikshashtakam cheto darpana marjanam bhava mahadavagni nirvapanam shreya kairava chandrika vitaranam vidya vadhu jeevanam anandam budhe vardhanam pratipadam purnamrita swadhanam sarvatmasnapanam param vijayate shri krishna sankirtanam so today we will talk about shreya kairava chandrika vitaranam first we will see the meaning word to word meaning and then we will see something about what it actually indicates so shreya means long term good or good fortune for all not for my me but for all and also it means as auspiciousness the opposite word of shreya is prayas so prayas means short term and it is not good for all sometimes only good for me only and it is not always auspicious so we are talking about shreya and kairava means the white lotus or white lilies a flower that blossoms in moonlight so this is a flower which blossoms in moonlight not sunlight so normally we talk about flowers which actually blossom in sunlight right but this white lotus or this white lily actually blossoms in the moonlight so what is that moonlight that is chandrika right so chandrika indicates the moonlight chandra means moon chandrika means moonlight or the rays that are coming from moon and then vitaranam vitaranam means spreading right pustak vitaran that we do book distribution right so that is spreading or expanding now the chanting is considered as the chandrika right why because the chandra right sometimes we compare krishna as a surya right or sun okay krishna surya sama maya andhakara jahara krishna tara nahi maya radhikar so that is a verse like that it is will be there so wherever surya the sun is there there cannot be darkness so similarly wherever krishna is there there cannot be the right of maya over there or the presence of maya there so sometimes we compare krishna with surya but here we are comparing krishna with chandra right so he is also vrindavan chandra right he is gaura chandra so chandrika means the rays or the light that is coming from the moon okay and it has a very cooling effect no one in this world would hate or have dislike towards the moonlight everyone loves the moonlight right everyone wants to look at the moon want to experience that moonlight so this lotus flower this white lotus will blossom only under the moonlight now even if the moon is there the flower blows that is supposed to blossom the Uh, the plant everything is there but if in between some barrier is there then what will happen the flower will not blossom so the presence of moon or the presence of moon rays is not sufficient there should be clear path between this plant or this flower and between this moonlight if something is coming in between what happens even though the moonlight is there the flower will not blossom right sometimes we see that you know sometimes we keep the flowers too much inside our house that where the sunlight cannot reach then what will happen the flowers will not blossom so we have to take them little out and put them under the sun so that they can get it so similarly here our consciousness is considered as that kairava and chandrika is the holy name and chandra is the krishna and shreya is our long term good or our auspiciousness our all good fortune and vitaranam is blossoming of our consciousness so why we are talking about this 
See, generally, Krishna is present everywhere. Krishna is everywhere. Avyakta, yani, he is actually Isha Vasyam Idam Sarvam. Right? Isha stays everywhere. And Sarvascha Chaham Ridhisandhi Vishto. Or Krishna also says that Ishwaraha Sarva Bhutanam Ridhadesha Arjuna Tishtiti. So I am seated in everyone's heart. Okay? Just beside the Atma, there is Paramatma. But still, we have no experience. Krishna is there in the Bhagavad Dham, in the Golok of Vaikuntha. Krishna is there everywhere in the material world. Krishna is there in our heart, but we cannot perceive his presence. Right? So sometimes when people are there in our life, but they are not at all helping other, helping us, then we will say that, you know, even you are there in my life, I feel nothing because you are always absent whenever I need you. So what is the use of you staying in my life? That is what we say, right? So similarly, Krishna is everywhere. But if we don't perceive him, then it is like he is not there only, right? So that is our condition. So what happens when we chant the holy name? This Chandrika will actually create the clarity or the clearance between us and Krishna. Right, And because of that, we will start perceiving Krishna. Krishna is there in our consciousness, but where he is, that consciousness is not available for us. Because of that, what we feel? Krishna is not there. So, this Kairava Chandrika Vitaran, what it actually indicates that if we want to feel the presence of Krishna in our life, then we have to chant his holy name. Why we have to chant? Why not do something else? Now, something else can be more material. But tongue is the way where we can actually perceive Krishna. So, there is a verse in Chaitanya Charitamrit Madhilila, 17th chapter, 36th verse, which says, Ataha Shri Krishna Namadi Nabhavet Grahiyam Indriyaiha Sevon Mukhehi Jehvadav Swayam Evas Puratyadaha See, Krishna is Satchitananda Vigraha. And our senses and our mind, everything in this world is actually material. So if you want to catch something that is spiritual with something that is material, it is not possible. Just like if you want to check the temperature of the water, you need a thermometer. If you have a scale, it is of no use. Scale might be useful to know the height or length or breadth of some object. But if you want to know the temperature, you need a thermometer, right? So similarly, our indriyas, that our mana, our senses and mind and everything that is in this material world is material. So it cannot touch spiritual, it cannot experience spiritual. But Krishna has given us one way, right? Sevon Mukhehi Jivadav. With this tongue, if you start serving Krishna, how? By chanting his holy name. Then what will happen? It will actually create a spiritual sound vibration that can connect us and Krishna. For example, if we have a mobile and we have power, in our house. Electricity is there, mobile is there. If you want to charge that mobile, there has to be something which can connect this both. Right? You cannot just keep uh, your mobile phone in front of your electricity board or your uh, the switchboard and all, and you expect that it to get charged. No, right? Some connection has to be there. So what do we do? We put a charger. Then what happens? Whatever power is there, that will flow through it and it will energize the battery. So similarly, Krishna is there, we are there. But the connection is actually lost because of so many barriers that we have due to this materialism that we have covered from many, many lifetimes. So this Kairava Chandrika, sorry, Kairava Vitaranam is not happening. Our consciousness, consciousness is not expanding because there is no moonlight. So this holy name will become our moonlight. And what it will do? It will not only give the energy to blossom, but it will also remove the barriers that are there in between you and Krishna. So, bhakti will only grow through bhakti. Bhakti sanjayate bhakti, that is what we say. So, if we want to have connection with Krishna, then we have to do something that is related to Krishna only. And the easiest way to awake our love for Krishna is through chanting the holy name. We can have the darshan of the deities, we can read books, we can do some seva in different ways through our hands and legs and all. But the beginning of the service will actually come through chanting only. Right? Sevon Mukhehi Jehvado. Because Krishna has allowed that path. See, many people are religious, but they don't chant the holy names. That is why they are like little bit God conscious, but they are not completely God conscious. They know God, 
they'll say like okay every sunday i go to temple every time i i have some money then i'll do some donation and all but their life won't change much they'll be religious they'll be try to be pious but their life won't change their character won't change much their life doesn't get transformed they'll not go back home back to god at why because the main service to connect to krishna is to chanting of the holy name right you are doing everything else but you are not chanting then everything is futile if you are chanting then all the other things will follow so bhakti is something that comes in our life because of the mercy of those who have bhakti that is why in the 11th canto of shrimad bhagavatam it is said bhakti sanjayate bhakti so if you go to an astrologer and ask him can i become a devotee or not what is my astrology saying he cannot say why because astrology is a language of karma right and karma means it is triguna like it is in the mode of material nature modes of material nature passion ignorance and goodness but bhakti is actually in the pure goodness in the shuddha sattva and it is divya it's transcendental that is why no one can say whether you can become a devotee or not by seeing your astrology so even though there is nothing is there which can actually help us to become a devotee still we can become a devotee why because a devotee comes and he gives the devotion that he has to us and in spreading devotion our devotion will also increase we see shrila prabhupad has given devotional service to those who never thought or never wanted to become a devotee the hippies who were being forsaken by the world shrila prabhupad has given his shelter to them and he has given krishna consciousness to them so they as per their astrology they have to go to hell okay but shrila prabhupad has sent them back home back to godhead by giving the bhakti so bhakti has so much power so it has to come through a devotee and it has to developed by a devotee so we are sitting somewhere and we were thinking what is life and some devotee came through some or other way and he has given us this hari naam now what is our job we have to chant this so that we can increase our bhakti brahmanda bhramita kona bhagyavan jeeva guru krishna prasad paaye bhakti lata beech so guru and krishna mercifully given us some bhakti beech to us the seed of bhakti to us now what we have to do we have to water it to grow that bhakti lata and that watering process is chanting the holy name so when we chant what will happen our consciousness will blossom so what does mean what does it mean by blossoming of our consciousness and why it has to blossom and how we would know that it has blossomed or not so consciousness is like the energy of the soul just like sight or seeing power is given to the eyes by default similarly when the soul is there consciousness will be there sometimes shri prabhupad says the presence of consciousness itself is the presence of soul right so consciousness is actually has everything it can perceive everything but now we are conditioned that is why we only perceive the things that we are attached to our consciousness is not fully available to us it is restricted to our attachments only just like we blind a horse right so that it can look straight only though it can look everywhere we blind it so that it can go straight only so that was a positive purpose but if our consciousness is got blinded through our attachments what will happen everything will see in connection with our attachment only for example dhritarashtra was so attached to duryodhana that he could only see how duryodhana can be happy how my son can be happy he doesn't even care whether his brother's sons are getting killed or his brother's son's wife is getting disrobed or not he doesn't care about it he will feel like you know throughout the process if duryodhana is happy that is more than sufficient so that was the mentality so he also has the consciousness but it is restricted to his own attachments only similarly ravana was so obsessed with having mother sita that he even for second his brother vibhishana he has put everyone on the stake and he lost everything he lost his own life because of that attachment that obsession so he has consciousness but that was too much restricted to attachment similarly an alcoholic person if he want to drink he doesn't think about how it going to affect my body how it going to affect my family my financial condition etc he wants it then he wants it i want what i want that is what the nature of attachment or nature of addiction right everyone has different levels of attachments and different kinds of attachments so our consciousness only will flow flow through that attachment only so this consciousness has the capacity to go anywhere 
but we because of our impressions because of our lifestyle what will happen the consciousness will flow in only one particular direction right so when we chant the holy name what will happen it will actually expand its jurisdiction now we will start seeing the world beyond our attachments see in movies sometimes we see the villain's consciousness is so caught in his own attachments that to acquire some land to acquire some property to acquire some gain he actually tries to kill everyone but when it comes to the uh, part of his own family if his own family is in danger because of something he is ready to give up everything that means to get something he is ready to kill everyone but to lose some to lose his family he will feel like losing all his property all his gains is better so his consciousness is restricted but when we see hero's consciousness he is ready to renounce the whole world everything that belongs to him for the purpose or the for the higher purpose right so this expansion of consciousness we can see in different people so what happens when we chant the holy name our consciousness will get blossom like anything right now we are only seeing about our family our money our job our career and everything and for that we may be ready to break all the rules also if i am required to tell a lie to get some increment i am ready to lie if i have to cheat someone to get some gain i am ready to do that okay if i am getting something in return i don't care whether someone is losing or not so that is our consciousness before coming to bhakti and after coming to bhakti gradually we will lose this mentality and we will see like even if i am losing something and someone else can gain something better and his life can be saved then i am ready to give up that so shrila prabhupad would have easily given up his body in vrindavan he would have gone back home back to godhead peacefully but still he has taken all the pain so that he can deliver the fallen souls like us so his guru maharaj told that go to the west and preach and all those who been first second from their own culture own their country shrila prabhupad has given the shelter why because a vaishnava is para dukhe dukhi that means he considers others pain as his pain right he considers other suffering as his suffering and he has so much compassion that he thinks always beyond himself even though i have to go through some inconvenience i am ready to support the other fallen souls right so shrila prabhupad was going through so much of struggle but he never gave up on sharing bhakti and bhakti is something that the more you share the more you will get and they have so much joy in giving bhakti that even the bodily or some mental inconvenience doesn't make them stop so when the holy name we chant our consciousness blossoms where we are ready to take some inconvenience for ourselves for the purpose of delivering others right so sometimes people will ask questions to shrila prabhupad and one day a devotee asked shrila prabhupad shrila prabhupad you are telling that you know our consciousness will get blossom our consciousness will expand through holy name so if i keep on chanting okay Uh, how can i know that whether my consciousness has blossomed or whether i have become krishna conscious or not how can i know that so then shrila prabhupad in different occasions he has given different answers answers to make the person understand but this time he has given a very different answer he told if you want to know whether you are krishna conscious or not what you do you go to the temple and you look at the deities and while you are looking at the deities if you feel like krishna is asking what are you doing for me then it means you are krishna conscious why because every time when we go in front of the deities we are not feeling like what krishna is asking like what are you doing for me but in written we are asking oh krishna what are you doing for me are you looking at me or not i have been chanting i have been doing ekadashi i have been given up onion garlic non veg tea coffee so much of struggle i am taking for you even my family is not supporting i am trying to chant even my family is not allowing i am trying to keep out some time for service and all but all the problems are still there only what are you doing for me krishna i am there only everyone told like in bhakti i will grow but i am there only what are you doing for me so if you are asking like this then we are not krishna conscious because krishna consciousness means it will tell us that we have taken a lot from the lord now this is the time to give back something right it is the grateful mood that gives us 
this krishna consciousness not it will uh, not remind us about the scarcity in our life but we will think about so much of abundance is there in my life that i want to give something back right so even though we have nothing we still feel like we have krishna so we have everything and at least i can give krishna to everyone shrila prabhupad was not opulent materially but he was so much of opulent through spiritually that he has converted the world into krishna conscious world right he has spread the krishna consciousness throughout the world with the opulence of bhakti right so krishna consciousness means it opens up all the doors for our consciousness so that we can perceive krishna everywhere and see everything in connection with krishna the united nations always have talks about how we can grow the brotherhood in the world how we can reduce the wars famine and everything but they are discussing all of this by keeping the god aside right so most of the time we see that the politicians or the leaders doesn't focus much on the god consciousness but shrila prabhupada says if you become krishna conscious everything this brotherhood and all is automatic why because krishna says in 15. 67 that mamai vamsha jiva loke jiva bhuta sanatana everyone is a part and parcel of me only so when you love krishna it is very easy to love all why because if we love someone definitely we'll love their relatives also right if you get married to someone definitely we'll have automatic affection for those who are related to that person whom we married so similarly if we love krishna it is very easy to love all so the expansion of consciousness by some material things or some material talks will not happen but it will start happening when we chant krishna so when we try to serve krishna through our tongue our consciousness will start blossoming and automatically will start considering everyone as our brother and sister that is why the compassion will grow and will stop the killing of others or hurting others so the automatic process is already available the easy process is available why we are struggling to take something else so the easiest process is bhakti where we are just chanting the holy name and rest of the things are following okay so we have to lead our life as a krishna centered life and that will happen when our consciousness get expanded otherwise when it is there like this then what will happen we will live a self centered selfish life me my family my attachments that's it nothing else i would care but when we are living a krishna centered life we will feel like if our life is krishna if our life and soul is serving krishna then everything is included in that so shrila prabhupada has given up his family to make the whole world as his family right so he has never actually forsaken vrindavan but he has to actually brought vrindavan to everyone so a devotee whose consciousness is expanded whether he is living in the material world or spiritual world he is always living in the spiritual world only why because his consciousness is of vaikuntha or goloka then whether he is living in bhulok or somewhere else it doesn't matter why devotees like shrila prabhupad comes back to this material world to deliver us because they always think of krishna and when we think of krishna when we are krishna conscious we are always in vaikuntha only so they be in vaikuntha consciousness and they tell us about vaikuntha and take us back to vaikuntha so that will happen through this holy name so just chanting of holy name we might sometimes see like you know i am uttering this sound but is it really working or not but gradually you will see that it work like wonders so our life is now very much self centered and selfish but gradually you'll start feeling like okay this whole world is actually mine okay i need not only work for my family i have to take care of my family but i cannot say that everyone else is outside my family actually everyone is my family vasudeva kutumbakam that will happen when our consciousness is expanded so this consciousness will expand when we have this chandrika which is the holy name so our vrindavan chandra in his holy name has given us the opportunity to expand our consciousness and when our consciousness expands it is shreya it is good for everyone just look at our life what we were before coming to krishna consciousness and after coming to krishna consciousness we have touched so many lives actually and over a period of time we will touch so many other lives and they will also become krishna conscious that time we, we will feel like you know our life is more meaningful and purposeful so this consciousness when it expanded it will be very very joyful 
today we have so many problems because the problems are so close to our eyes so much our consciousness is caught that we will feel very much painful very much suffering but when our consciousness expands these objects of problems will go back and we will see like okay they are appearing very big but in reality they are not big sometimes we see people telling oh i have a financial problem relationship problem oh i have this career problem and all but they forget that actual problem is you are in this material world you have this body janma mrityu jaravadi life birth birth death old age this is this is your problem other problems are just like you know petty problems if you just think about that when you will start thinking about this so when we are in growing in bhakti our consciousness consciousness expands and it will tell like this is the actual problem so when we see the actual problem the other problems that we are thinking that are problems will become small so when you take up a bigger war the small war you can easily win right so similarly when you try to understand and counter the biggest problem of the life the all small small problems will disappear from your life so we have to increase our standard of problems right we should not only think about all the small small problems that we have in our life we should start thinking about the biggest problem we should start taking up the biggest job just like shrila prabhu has taken a mission to make the whole world krishna conscious right and what happened even though he had bodily inconvenience that doesn't look big why because he has a bigger mission to take care today in our life our all problems look very big why because we don't have a bigger purpose our consciousness is caught there only so when we chant the holy name nicely our consciousness will expand and we will start taking bigger purposes in life then what will happen we will get release from our problems and attachments and we will start doing so much good for ourselves and others so this is about shreya kairava chandrika vitaranam thank you so much shri shri shikshashtakam ki jai shri chaitanya mahaprabhu ki jai hari bol prabhu ji hari bol prabhu ji hari bol prabhu ji hari bol prabhu ji hari bol dadya bol prabhu prabhu ji your in your detail bol prabhu ji hari bol hari bol prabhu ji hari bol prabhu ji chaala vivaranga cheparu dhanyavaad prabhu ji dhanyavaad pranam dhanyavaad pranam prabhu ji hari bol I cannot. I am not able to express such a beautiful story. Really. Thank you, Tajji. Hari Bol, Prabhu Ji. Hari Hari Bol. I don't know. Every time you become my uh, Krishna's messenger, I was thinking to ask a question since yesterday. but somehow but today you answer that question so hari bol hari hari bol thank you so much thank you mataji thank you so much hari so, krishna prabhu ji yes padmavati mataji one or two points please oh. not i'll add one or two points ha ah, sure sure you can teaching, not from my teachings <laughs> uh-huh. hari krishna prabhu ji like last year you have taken the same point on 18th february prabhu ji in my notes it is given like that mm-hmm. now here shreya you are giving us a long term enjoyment prabhu ji and uh, here i should say kairava is white lotuses are we and chandrika is moonlight it is you and vitarana you are spreading the moonlight to open the flowers like anything prabhu ji from one year Uh, hearing second time gives a lot of lot of enjoyment it is a long term enjoyment internally thank you so much prabhu ji hari krishna thank you so much mata ji that was a wonderful uh, analogy to explain <laughs> about your enjoyment yes, yes <laughs> it is really internal enjoyment how much it is improving uh, we don't know <laughs> we can't say in words like like that thank you